Hi everyone, it's Rebecca here, Stitching Becca. Uh, today is the 28th of April and I'm sitting outside on the balcony. It's so, so wonderful. Um, we have some nice uh, weather here in Sweden and some warmer weather. Um, uh, so that's, it gives so much energy. I think. I have a lot to show you today. I'm here for my April update and I have some whips, um, a new start and some haul. I had more than I thought uh, when I gathered everything. April has kind of just been really short but also it feels like it lasted forever, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, the first thing, thing I stitched on in April was Link Silhouette. Um, it's, uh, a piece I'm stitching for my son uh, and it's by Shoko Coco Stitch. And I'm actually not sure where I was last time I showed you this, but I will show a picture here. And this is how far I've got now. So I think I was down here somewhere. Start, I have started on the darkest uh, trees, I think. Uh, and then I stitched the cloud and the sun. And I remember that the sun, it felt like I, I was stitching and stitching and stitching and I didn't get anywhere. Um, but I really like how this one is turning out. Um, yeah. So I need to get back to it. Um, and I will start stitching the other cloud over here and then I will start on the heels um, because I discovered that I will not have enough of this uh, green and I have another one but they're not the same uh, dye lot so it's a slightly different uh, shade uh, but I am thinking if I'm stitching down here uh, and then I'm kind of stitching on the darkest green as far as I get on both both sides and then I switched to my other skein, skein. so I hope it will not show too much uh, but yeah really liking this one okay and then I get, got the threads for uh, my daughter's piece and she's chosen uh, a quick stitch head um, and I don't remember the, what's quick stitch rainbow mermaid and it looks like this when finished and I'm very happy with my progress uh, this is how it looked before And this is how it looks now. So let's see, I think so <laughs> um, the page break is about here, I believe, and I think the middle of the design is here. So it's this is not a big piece, but it will be enough for me. Um, I was very excited because I like the shading of this and here is like a sparkle or uh, I think it's a bubble that sparkle. Uh, it's a few bubbles down here uh, and here is actually the outline of the mermaid's head. So that's exciting. Um, 
because they are for my kids I just kind of want to leave them in the frames um, so I want to stitch on them a bit every month um, to get you know a bit of progress uh, all the time so they don't stand still uh, my daughter is asking mom are you finished soon so, no I'm not finished soon uh, it will take a while maybe a year or two uh, yeah um, and then I um, stitched on Native American Mermaid by Joan Elliott. And I kind of, <coughs> this is how it looked like before. Uh, I really enjoyed stitching on this one. Uh, and I feel that I got a lot done. Um, and I felt like as long as I feel like I want to stitch on it, I will stitch on it. So I stitched on this one for weeks. Um, This is how far I got. Um, so basically what's oh excuse me, what's left is this background here. It's I think three smaller uh, tents and then here is uh, lying a deer and then this poor rabbit hasn't been hasn't been stitched yet um, but it will get there um, I couldn't help myself with the back stitched back stitch uh, so I back stitched this little bird and then I started with the cranic uh, it will also be beads here in her bracelet. Um, and then you see it's some cranic in the bird's nest here. I think it's really cute. It's I love this design. I love her face. And here it will be a bunch of beads and uh, also some cranic. Uh, so I can't wait to start um, the beading and to see this one finished um, I think she will be stunning uh, I have I stitched this on uh, vintage country mocha by spike art and it's a 32 count um, yeah I really love this one uh, as you can see here uh, June Elliott charts her uh, designs uh, with she do two different things on um, different backstitching techniques because the skin are often designed like this smooth line and really beautiful and then the clothes or you backstitch uh, the excess so it's like this and I don't want that so I started here uh, with a sm smoothing out uh, you know what I mean right uh, I lost the words uh, I want I want to look at her and see like you know the clothes are also like smooth um, and not backstitched like a staircase um, but I was a bit intimidated I was really tempted to backstitch her poncho but I didn't next time um, yes I'm very happy with my progress on her um, 
and then I had a tiny new start. Uh, I started this two nights ago and it's um, it's um, We Sing With You uh, uh, Stitching for Ukraine uh, pattern by Fiddlesticks AU um, and they sold this pattern for about a week I believe and then they donate, donated uh, I don't know if it was all the all the money for uh, or if it was part of the income from this pattern uh, but it's a little bird and it's sitting on a um, branch Br tree branch tree branch uh, with some yellow flowers and it says we sing with you so that's what i'm stitching on right now um, and that was what i stitched on in april um, Okay, so I have some haul. I have come over some uh, kits that I have been searching for, not searching for, but that I think are really pretty and I have been thinking that if I ever see them as, at a reasonable price, I will get them. So, and someday, when you're not looking at them, there they are. Uh, that's often how it is with me. So, the first one is this Lonart kit. And it's... I don't know what it's called. Um, it doesn't say. But it's an older kit. Uh, it hasn't been started. Um, it has been uh, sorted, I think, or the bundles have been sorted in different bags. Um, but I've taken everything out, and it's everything is in. It's fine. I think this this one is so pretty. Oh. I feel a sneeze coming. Uh, <laughs> but it went away. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, very soft, uh, very elegant, I don't know. Just lovely, beautiful. Uh, and I, I have always liked this kit. Um, I have had dogs growing up my as a my entire childhood we had always one or two dogs um, so one day I will have one but I can't now when I'm work, working uh, so someday and then I bought a kit um, it's a dimensions gold collection uh, I've seen this before. I, it's an older kit. It has also been open, uh, but it, it's it's fine. Everything's there. Uh, I think they've just opened it to check it out. Um, sorry for the reflections. Um, very beautiful kit. Um, maybe I'll start this one when I'm finished with Native American Maiden. I don't know. Okay, so uh, <coughs> I found this one. Uh, someone was selling it for like three dollars, including shipping. So um, I have uh, a similar kit to this one, uh, but I think it's with different 
shapes of the angels um, and so I guess I will I'm so intimidated with hard anger but I think I will just need to dive into it I don't know uh, it seems very fun I don't know but it's the thought of you know get all the stitches uh, right so when you cut the fabric it doesn't all fall apart but I thought this was great testing um, okay so <clears throat> I was looking through my Mirabilia and Nora Corbett shards uh, with my daughter and um, I have all my patterns in a big like box um, and we took them all out and she, she said mom look at this one you can I, I want this one in my room and I want this one and this one and this one uh, she was all excited and I was looking around uh, and I really like uh, Nora Corbett's older fairies the Mirabilia fairies uh, and especially uh, this one uh, Lily in the Woods I will write it down here I'm not sure I got it right uh, so I bought the cold pour fabric um, and I looked out uh, what uh, which beads was needed and everything and wow that one is an expensive one to kit up uh, I will need to do that in what do you call it sections uh, buy some beads every now and then because that that was just crazy uh, but I love the design uh, and I would really love I, I love the specialty beads in that one it's like small shaped leaves uh, on the branches and um, some oh I don't remember but the other um, treasures was also very beautiful um, so I, I would love to have the beads called for um, yeah so I'm in the um, starting of getting that one kitted up um, and then I bought uh, a Mirabilia, Mirabilia pattern it's a pattern that I haven't thought of before um, but then I have watched I found some new floss tubers and I think it was Fiber Arts Amy um, sh if you haven't uh, checked her videos uh, just go and check them out she has so many Mirabilia, Norba, uh, Mirabilia finishes um, she stitches some chatelaines uh, she has a lot of Mirabilia started and I think if I don't uh, remember uh, wrongly that she had uh, the Bliss Fairy stitched up and it was so beautiful um, and as usual um, these cover photos doesn't make them justice uh, they just don't uh, she looks looked so uh, serene and just so at peace I don't know uh, so so pretty um, and seeing this one finished kind of made me, made me want to start it right away so I got the pattern for that one okay so um, I also started watching Calico Whimsy Whimsy Calico Whimsy uh, and uh, she has been commenting on been commenting on my videos uh, for a long time and uh, left lovely comments and I have I haven't uh, uh, known that she makes videos of her own uh, before she and Kat talks 
uh, uh, made some cells together. Uh, and just a minute. My kids are inside. I just wanted to say something. Uh, and by the way, if you haven't watched uh, Kat's videos, uh, go and see. She made have a wonderful floss tube. Um, uh, I love to watch her while stitching, and she do, does this. Um, oh, um, I totally lost the words. You know, when she she's filming, when she starts stitching, and she talks for a bit, and then you can see how far she got uh, over the day uh, or the week, and she totally blank. What do you call it? Um, Oh, I don't remember, uh, but you know what I mean. She she films uh, and she put together all the clips in one video, uh, and she's a joy to uh, watch. Uh, and she does uh, heads, even the dirt designs. Uh, she has uh, dimensions, uh, mill heel. Uh, she stitched a lot of wonderful things. Um, so if you're into that, uh, those brands, just go in and watch her. Uh, anyway, she and uh, Christine, Calico, uh, Aka Calico Wimsy, was making these cells. And that's how I discovered that she also uh, has floss tubes. And she stitched a lot of dimensions. Uh, she also has so many uh, beautiful projects. Uh, she stitched stitch a lot of mill heels also um, so I started to watch hers from the start at the same time as I'm keeping up with the um, new ones she uh, releases um, so I can really recommend her as well I will link uh, the floss tubers I mentioned here uh, down in the description box um, en minut bara för jag kommer Ja, ja, jag kommer. Mm. Uh, we have two cats. And uh, my son came out and said that a vase fell down. Yeah. I hope it don't didn't broke. It probably did. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, sorry for the distractions, folks. Uh, anyway, in one of her early videos, she uh, showed a whip of this project. It's called Orchids and Hummingbirds. And I when I saw this, it was so beautiful. She has this butterfly stitched and uh, some of the orchids and the colors are just wow. Uh, and when I watched hers, I remember that I have seen someone uh, putting out a lot of kits for sale. And this one, there was with them. Um, it was a long time ago. It was over uh, six months ago, I saw this uh, uh, selling, uh, that she was selling this. And I, then I watched it and thought that, well, it was beautiful, uh, but I decided not to buy it. So I was like, please, please, <laughs> um, let her still have this one left. Uh, and she did. So I bought it from her. Uh, I have opened it, but I would love to switch out the Ada uh, because I I would love to have hand dyed fabric for this one. I and I won't stitch this uh, here, but just the flowers, the butterfly, and the hummingbird, um, and. 
I had a question for you, please help me. Uh, this is 18 count Ada. And do you think that I can stitch swap that 18 count Ada for 32 count hand dyed um, Lugana? Do you think the threads will be enough? Um, I figured since it's 32 count and it's been dyed that it it's more likely to be a 36 count and then the threads probably will be enough, right? Uh, please give me some advice <laughs> uh, because I would love to swap the fabric out. Um, yeah. Um, so um, that was all I had. Um, no, I have one more thing. I saw today on Instagram that it was Amy in uh, Fiber Arts Amy uh, on Floss Tube's birthday today and that she would stitch Start the Mirabilia. Um, and she said, if you want to celebrate with me and start one, uh, please do. And I, oh, I think it was also something that you have thought about starting but haven't that's kind of always been pushed back in the starting pile um, and I have one um, I think it was over a year ago that I planned on starting uh, Sabrina and I have her all kitted up, beads, threads, everything, uh, fabric. So I might start this today. Uh, kind of to uh, celebrate a bit with uh, Amy. Uh, happy birthday, Amy, if you ever watch this. Um, and finally get Sabrina started. That would be fun. Um, I hope I can manage that today. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, you will know, know next time how it got. Uh, so um, that was uh, all for me. Um, I hope uh, all is well with you and um, that you get a lot of uh, lovely stitching time. Uh, thank you uh, as always for uh, liking, commenting and subscribing. It, it's really appreciated. Um, and uh, I have um, um, seen that I have gotten um, more subscribers lately. So extra welcome to you. I hope you will um, like what you see, uh, like what I work on. Um, and if you is a regular viewer uh, and haven't subscribed, please do. Um, okay, so that's everything. Uh, take care everyone. <laughs>